A dangerous surprise found on relaxing and serene Longboat Key. A new report found there are old bombs and World War II ordinances still buried there. That affluent community was once a military bombing range, and it will take years to clean up the mess left behind. John Rogers joins us now. He is in Longboat Key to tell us more about this. John. Good evening, guys. I'm standing on what was virtually ground zero, the middle of this bombing range more than 70 years ago. Now I'm surrounded by condos, and the feds still need to spend more than $8 million to clean this area up. Back in the 40s, there was nothing on Longboat Key. And it was definitely a lot more raccoons than people. There was hardly any people. So the U.S. government turned 200 acres into a bombing range. Shirley Beecham's parents fled uh. whenever the bombs dropped. I mean, a bomb is loud. They would, they would be notified whenever there was going to be it because they'd close the island off. More than 70 years later, many of the bombs are still here. A report by the journalism nonprofit ProPublica found the government has not finished removing the bombs and bullets from the ground. In fact, the report found the soil is contaminated with the dangerous compound barium. The government won't complete the cleanup until 2048. Bombing ranges were used all over Tampa Bay, and nowadays there are frequent reports of unexploded ordnance. I don't think there's anything to be worried about. Michael Drake with the Longboat Key Historical Society said most of the island is already developed and no issues have arisen. To my knowledge, there's never been anything that has been found that is live ammo. The Army Corps of Engineers tells News Channel 8 no live explosives were used on the island, and the soil contamination presents a very low risk to humans. But this all goes to show that it's wise to learn the history of your community. Officials hope to clean up this area much sooner than 2048 if the cleanup is needed at all. Now, if you'd like to find out if there's buried ordinance in your backyard, we'll have a helpful link for you on our website, WFLA.com, and also on our WFLA News app. Reporting on Longbow Key, John Rogers, News Channel 8.